Lesson. We're going to take a look at an original composition I've entitled Two Bluegrass Solos in the Key of G. Now I've already have a lesson at the site for two bluegrass solos in the key of C. And now this week we're going to get into the key of G and do a little bit different chord progression, although very common in bluegrass and old time. We're going to play into that two major chord into the five there and that'll create a nice little texture and uh, yeah, you hear it all the time. So I've got an intermediate and advanced arrangements. There's going to be plenty of classic bluegrass moves and a few little Tony Rice licks. Certainly lots of hammer-ons, pull-off slides. And we're going to really work on getting, you know, driving energy with consecutive eighth note runs, especially in that second arrangement. Just lots of phrases that are going to be continuous eighth notes, which just can be hard to do playing up to speed. All right? So... If you want to access the full-length version, just click the link down there below. It will shoot you onto my website. And there it's going to come with over 35 to 40 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and four audio backing tracks to help you work your speed up. Now, if you really enjoy the way I teach and approach learning, you should learn about being a premier member over there for a monthly, quarterly, or yearly fee. Access this lesson and over 350 videos just like it, all three of my courses and the video exchange program. All right, so for now, we're going to take a look at this first arrangement, walk through the first few measures. Let's dive in. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down two bluegrass solos here in the key of G. We'll be looking at the first solo, of course, here. And starting at the very top, I'm going to play these first three measures, and I'm going to break them on down for you. And remember, the markings below the staff are pick directions, and any little numbers above the staff will be left-hand fingerings, all right? So, yeah, here's the first three measures. Um, starts on beat two, it's got a little pick up there. So one, two, three, four, one. So, like I said, there's a pick up there. It starts on beat two, so that first little marking is a quarter note rest. And then it starts with some quarter notes on the open D. So two of them there. One, or actually two, three, and then a two, zero pull off on the D string. So two, three, four, and, okay. And then the next measure, open G. And then we're gonna slide up to the fifth fret D string. And that's a G note as well. So it's kind of that drone, droning effect that we'll use throughout this piece and you see very often in bluegrass music all the time. Okay. Um, and then open G, back to fifth fret D. And then open G again. And then second fret G slide it up to the fourth fret as you see there's a slide there so again go and then when we slide up to that fourth fret that's the downbeat of measure three and there's no pick direction below it right so we're sliding up into that downbeat then we're catching the third fret on the B Okay, we're kind of creating this little double stop here. And then I'm going to do a quarter note with those two strings. So to play the double stop together. Double stop just meaning two notes together at once. And then I'm going to play it again. The double stop and slide down to second fret on the G. And then play the open G. So let me play measure two and three together. Ready, go. So get used to 
piece of that little move right there. Um, of course, we're always kind of using that double stop in acoustic guitar, bluegrass guitar. So um, those two measures, three, four, and two, three, and four. Okay, let me play all three of them together. One, two, ready, go. One. about your right hand in those pick directions because we got the slide there slide up and slide down and that's taking the place of a pick direction okay and very important to make sure you got your right hand in line there to execute the arrangement all right let's do the next three measures here get over top of the C chord a little bit they sound like this two ready go Ending the first little phrase, the first four bars, and then going to the next phrase. So measure four, over top of the C chord, we're going to hammer zero, zero to two on the D string, and then strum down up. So one and two and, and then double stop, open G and B string. So the G's open, the B string first fret there and then hammer on the second fret of the G with the second finger. And then lift off and play those two strings again. So that measure. Three, four. And then go on the next measure, I'm gonna play an open D string. I'm gonna think G chord though. So open D string, go back to G, strum, and then A string, first fret A, slide to two, open D. So getting that little G run in there, kind of restarting the phrase. And then measure six is just like measure two, open G. Fifth fret D, then we bounce off the two, open G, D string, open G, second fret G. So that's kind of the same, it's going to be the same. Six and seven are going to be exactly the same as two and three. Okay, we'll slide into that fourth fret. Make sure you get in there with your second finger as well. Let me play all three of those measures together now. Two, three, four. downbeat of measure seven all right now let me put all um, let me put the six measures together that we've worked on so far so from the top so one two three four one move on to the next few when you're ready. All right, so now measure seven, eight, and nine. Here they sound like this. Two, ready, go. Do it again. Three, four. Uh, three, four. So again, measure seven is just like measure three, and we're sliding up into that fourth fret with the second finger. Notice there's no pick direction below there, so it, you know we're sliding up to the downbeat. So and one, okay. So I'm going from the measure before second fret, downbeat to measure seven, and then <clears throat> third fret on the B string, and then strum, 
strum the, not strum, but pluck both the B and the G together, and then again, and then slide down to two, then open G. So, and one, and two, three, and four. Ready, go. And one, and two, three, and four. And then going on to measure eight, we get over top of the A chord, or the two, two major chord, which creates a lot of tension. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna do a nice little simple passage there. Second fret G, it's gonna be a quarter note there. So one, and then here's our little eighth note run. Um, second fret G again to four, back to two, four on the D, two, four hammer on the D. Okay. measure we go to D chord play the open D string the D chord and then a little run up um, a little run back into the next phrase so open D second fret four two on the G and we'll play an open G in measure ten so let me play all three of those again I'm gonna start on the and of beat four Measure six, okay? So second fret. So three, four. Same thing. All right, one more time. Same exact spot. The and of beat four, measure six. So two, three, four. Let's move on to the next few measures. Two, one, one. 